Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane. This video is part of my Infinite Game Score series, and today we're going to be talking about Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. Good thing. Before the very first storyboard was created for Uncharted 4, it had the daunting task of living up to the legacy of the previous entries in the series and feeling welcomed on the PlayStation 4 hardware. Drake had become a character fans grew to love, and this, the final act of the story, could not disappoint. The game hits hard, with a story hook and glimpse into an unknown part of Nathan's past that only draws you more into the game. However, just as soon as the power of the first hook fades slightly, the story takes an unprecedented turn and the second hook is set firmly in the player's mind. How will you deal with these challenges? What will happen next? Only further gameplay promises to answer these questions. And this is just the beginning of the game before the title reveal. Speaking of the title reveal, it is full of Easter eggs and references to the past games, and you would be doing yourself a great disservice by skipping them. Take the time and at least finish the first three games and consider the Vita title Golden Abyss as a bonus for the fans that just can't get enough of the experience. Uncharted 4 is a masterpiece and I believe fully lives up to the expectations of the fans and the creators. Everything about the Uncharted 3 engine was incorporated and somehow improved upon. But enough of this waxing poetic, let's get to the score. As always, this game was beautifully crafted and lots of effort put into it, so it starts with a score of 3. It is both physical and digital, so it gets one point there. Uh, the immersion is... wow. Um, honestly guys, I had to force myself to stop playing so that I could go to sleep. So the immersion gets three points. Uh, multiple endings. Mainly dialogue changes in my mind don't count. So it loses a point. Uh, it has DLC. And for that, I'm not too happy, but um, not too upset. But it still loses a point. Voice actors in English are great, so it gains a point. Uh, game length was much more than I expected, and it did not feel grueling or anything like that, so it gains three points. Story. Uh, the story is basically full circle, you know, uh, Alpha and Omega, uh, all of that stuff. Very, very, very good. Um, definitely exceeded my expectations, so it gains three points. Level designs. I was very happy with the level designs in this game and, and just seeing um, where it took me and stuff like that. So three points. Um, let's see. Complete experience. Yeah, I definitely had a complete experience and it even it exceeded my expectations there. So it scores three points. Sense of progression. Um, not nearly as much as, as some of the other games, like I believe I, I scored a uh, Uncharted 3 as a 3 points, but this one, um, you only get 2 points. I just didn't feel like it was quite... I mean, it was there, and it was everything I expected, it just didn't exceed my expectations. Uh, fairness, punishing RNG, 2 points. I know, uh, it's, it's really nice to actually have the game not feel punishing, uh, so it definitely met my expectations there. Game value to MSRP cost. Uh, maybe I'm just kind of a cheapskate, um, but it only gets two points there. Uh, so this is kind of what I would expect to get for that amount of money. Now, which I wish it was like, what, $59.99, I believe. Um, choice and consequence. Uh, basically, it's just during combat. Um, you could either go stealth or you could go guns blazing, and it gets one point for that. Soundtrack. Three points. Guys, 
everything just fits with the soundtrack. Um, all of the action, everything that you're experiencing. It's like this puzzle piece that just fits in with the game and then the seams disappear because it fits so well. Visuals. Uh, beautiful, but something seems off about uh, how Nathan looked in my eyes. Um, and uh, it gains three points still. It's because, you know, the visuals definitely exceeded my expectations. And come to find out, I was just not used to seeing uh, Nathan Drake clean. Um, that's That was the thing that was throwing me off. As soon as he got dirty and scraped up and scuffed up again, uh, he started looking like himself. So it was, uh, it was uh, just that. Difficulty. Definitely two points. It's what I definitely, you know, what I really expected. Uh, gameplay slash combat. You know what? There's multiple paths to victory. Um, you know, stealth or gun. And I really like that. I, I love multiple paths to victory. So it gains two points. Um, controls. Uh, it gains two points. Um, the grappling hook was definitely a... A welcome addition and it kind of felt like Indiana Jones um, replay value one point uh, I'm just not a replay kind of guy uh, I might go back and replay this just to enjoy it again but I don't think I would um, gain as much as I did from the first experience camera they actually improved the camera a little bit and it got two points it's no longer a fight Unlockables and rewards, two points. Um, I definitely liked the unlockables in this game, and I'm not going to spoil them for you. And finally, the sense of accomplishment, two points. I don't know if that's me being biased or not, but it just felt sad that um, this was the end of, of uh, Nathan Drake's story, and that I was just not going to get to experience this any longer. But um, again, this might just be chalk it up to my bias. For only giving it two points so guys that brings us to our grand total of 44 points that's that's pretty high for a playstation 4 game um it is uh definitely not the highest score that i've given on on a, a playstation 4 game but you know what i haven't told you about that game yet and uh that'll be happening later this year so uh yeah definitely a really good score um guys right now i think you can just find this game really cheap it's definitely worth your time and it's definitely worth the play well that's it for this episode of mondane designs i'm your host mondane and i hope you enjoyed this episode as much as i enjoyed making it i have videos on the first and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. as always please like comment and subscribe and have a wonderful day